All right, guys, good morning. Um, we're starting a new rotation, hematology and oncology, or hemonc. So hematologists are doctors that deal with blood disorders, and then oncologists are cancer doctors. And in the United States, I don't know how they do it in other places, but you get dual board certified in both through um, a six-year residency program. So six years after medical school, that's a lot of training. Um, so basically, these doctors are certified badasses. I'm super stoked. Let's just get going and head into the clinic. All right, so everything was ready to go. I was pretty much getting ready to leave. And then last second, I remembered that this preceptor actually makes you dress professionally. So I have to wear like a button down, a tie and slacks on top of my white coat when we're at his clinic. Um, and here I am dressed in scrubs. So that's not gonna work. All right, we swapped outfits. It's been a while since so I've had to dress up professionally. Honestly, not that opposed to it. Officially headed to the clinic and gorgeous day. All right, so it's 8.53 and I just pulled out of my apartment complex. This clinic is on the exact same street that I live on. So let's see what time I actually pull up. Just pulled into the parking lot and it's only 8.55. guys we are officially done first day on hemonk what a cool day i mean i got to see all kinds of different disorders from blood disorders like thalassemias to to cancer you know um, breast cancer esophageal cancer lots of different stuff um i got to look at a blood slide it's just like a smear of blood and the doctor sat me down and was like look in this microscope look in this microscope tell me what you see and it was just like, all right, like let's jump in, but really awesome first day. All right, so it's day two on Hemonk. Um, yesterday I got super busy. Um, I've been working on this research paper with my brother. <laughs> so you think I should, I'll just reword this then. Well, so that is suggested the use or the, I'll say the use of Positive multi-marker real-time quantitative reverse transcription has been reviewed or studied. Hold on. So we've been trying to tackle that. But anyways, let's head to the clinic see what they got going. books lots of anemia today iron deficiency anemia pretty much throughout the board um a couple patients had different types of cancers they're on chemo and pretty much all of them are in remission so that's pretty awesome i am currently headed to costco i've got to stock up on some coffee i had to walk to my front office this morning um just to make some coffee because i'm completely out what is up we're back home I'm about to eat dinner. I'm gonna let you guys in on some exclusive footage right here. My uh, five-star dinner. So I ran to Costco and I got this beautiful bird right here. I'm gonna down it all in one sitting. Maybe not. But I also got some green beans and some risotto that is super old from Trader Joe's. I'm legit living off of leftovers right now. I didn't want to spend a ton of money at Costco for whatever reason, I don't know. So I just went there and bought a chicken. <laughs> so melanoma is like one of the worst skin cancers you can get. Um, and this patient had a negative sentinel lymph node biopsy. So a lot of the times cancers will drain to their um, adjacent or, or regional lymph nodes. And that's called their sentinel lymph nodes. And then they'll biopsy those lymph nodes to try to detect if the cancer has spread. This patient had a negative biopsy and originally, and then later it was found that she had a recurrence in the biopsy. So we're writing a case report on that and we're gonna do a little mini literature review so yeah, it's 8.30 right now. Um, 
I'm gonna take a break for probably like 15, 20 minutes, kind of recuperate, and then I gotta review some questions I did earlier and do some monkey cards before bed. So. Day three, hematology and oncology. So we saw a couple patients this morning. I gotta be super quiet because there's people like everywhere. But uh, saw a couple patients. The doctor just handed me a stack of paper on this new patient and told me to look through it, tell her what needs to be done. Wish me luck. So yet again, we're in between patients and I am starting some U World questions. So one thing that's like super awesome about this rotation is I get lunch pretty much every day. And today we got a buffalo chicken bowl. Look at that. So they have all these cookies in the break room that just got dropped off and I took one sample of every single one. All right, we are officially done. It's about four o'clock. Got to see some interesting patients today. So we had a patient um, who was being seen for anemia and the hematologist had treated her with um, some iron and her hemoglobin got a lot better, but he also did a hemoglobin electrophoresis. And this is a study that kind of will show you the different levels of the different kinds of hemoglobin in your blood. And he found that she has sickle cell traits. So this was like a woman who was in her seventies who never knew this her whole time. She had the trait for sickle cell disease. Um, now that doesn't mean that anything bad's gonna happen or that she's gonna be, um, or have any even noticeable symptoms. Like I said, she's in her seventies and had no idea. Um, other than that, I had, you know, some, someone who had a diffuse large B cell lymphoma was this huge mass in their neck. So that was pretty interesting. Um, new cases of, of other types of cancer, some patients with lung cancer, some patients with, um, uh, you know, just masses that they don't know what they are. So we had to coordinate things with the radiation oncologist overall, just a cool day. All right. So we're back home. Um, I went to the gym, I hit legs. I also swam, did some laps in the pool. Ugh, I'm pretty exhausted, but I'm just gonna make some tea, lay in bed, do some questions until I fall asleep. Another exciting day in my life. All right, it's 8.43 and I'm tapping out. We just scored one of my lowest of lows on question blocks in a long time. So hey, here's to the here's to the low lows, baby. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> So we ended the day um, around 3, 3.30. Um, had a consult for a patient who recently had a stroke. So that was pretty interesting. But other than that, it pretty much slowed down. We had a few patients cancel. So I am now back in my apartment complex. I'm on a walk doing some Anki because gotta get out of the house. Can't keep sitting there doing Anki. It drives me nuts. Well, it's Friday. I'm just getting ready to head into the clinic and I've got this beautiful weather to welcome me on my way. All right, so we're headed in, it's 8.52. I woke up this morning, I actually was pretty productive and I managed to get through 60 questions. So I did the math and in order to finish UWorld and AMBOSS, which there's no way I'm gonna get through both of those, but I have to do 55 questions a day to finish them by the time I take step two, which is clearly, like that's not gonna happen.
sandwich menu. We got turkey sandwich, fruit, potato salad, chocolate cookie. That's about as big as my face. Look at this cookie. It's chocolate marshmallow. Oh my goodness. All right, welcome back. So we are back home. I left clinic, I got my hair cut, and then I went to the gym, picked up some Chipotle. Um, the day ended on a pretty rough note. Last patient we saw was being treated for small cell lung carcinoma, which is a pretty aggressive cancer. And the cancer spread to his brain and it was everywhere. There were big masses, untreatable basically. And, um, you know, it was just kind of a rough ending. And I feel like my week, I got spoiled a little bit because I was able to see interesting cancers that were being treated and well controlled with chemo and radiation. And then I ended with a patient where it's kind of like, there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, so at the end of the week on a sad note, which isn't really ideal, but hey, I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, I'm going to dig into this Chipotle. Thanks for watching. I feel like this entire vlog was me in the clinic and then me eating. But honestly, that's pretty much my whole life right now anyways. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. The whole shebang. Um, I'll see you guys next time.